and I'll catch you inside the next video. So have a great day and take care. And that's what we're not talking about today. Hey, what's up? This is Simon and in this video I want to talk about two things. First about this channel and second why JavaScript is awesome. That's going to be the second part. We have to go back a bit in history because yes, four years ago the first video on this channel was published. Hey guys, what's up? This is Simon from DevDactic and today I'm going to show you how to make a signature pad. I never really valued the community that we have created on this channel, which is right now by over 16,000 uh, subscribers. I think we're even pretty close to 17, um, maybe. And I want to say sorry. I really have to apologize. I didn't spend the time that you deserve on this community, but those things will now change. And just starting this year, I discovered the power of this community on our YouTube channel that has really grown to amazing amounts. So I think that is more I think we're more people than living in the um, part of the town where I was born. Let me check. Okay, so in the town or in the part of the town where I was born, there are 3k people, which means this channel is five times bigger than that little part of the town where I was born, which is blowing my mind completely. So that's a whole amount of people and I want to give you more value now. Therefore, today we'll start a new chapter on this channel, which includes a more vlog style type of video like we currently have. I will try to be as helpful as possible. That means every week on Tuesday we will have a coding style video and every week on Thursday or maybe Friday we will have a more vlog style video. That means two times per week great content from me. Now as I said I want to do this because I want to get more in contact with you so please under these videos always let me know if you get any questions or wishes for any videos and please let the comments not only be uh, how can I fix my ionic component, why is the semicolon missing or why is my import wrong. This part of the channel should be more about the whole aspect of being a developer. With that being said I also have a little goal for this channel. So as I said we're even below 20k but I would like to get this, which is the YouTube play button for 100k subscribers to your channel. That's something that would really mean a lot to me. It would help me a lot if you click subscribe below, if you hit the like button on all the videos. So subscribe just works once of course, but you can tell your friends as well to hit the subscribe button so we can get to 100k a lot faster. And also because the channel isn't that big yet, you still get the chance to influence me. So if like five people tell me below the video I should stream me playing Dota 2, that might happen, yeah, that might happen. But I don't want this video only to be about uh, me introducing this new series. I also want to give you some value with each of these videos. Why not start today talking about JavaScript? Now if you're on my email list or somewhere following me on Instagram, which I also definitely recommend because there's a lot of behind the scenes as well, you might have seen that I'm working on something called the Software Startup Manual since, let's say, I'm almost a year. I was waiting for the Ionic 4 release, which just happened now, so I just uh, started the progress last year. I made the first half, which is a backend with JavaScript, so there's the reference back again. And now I had the chance to uh, finish the front end part for this great um, project as well. You see, there are quite a lot of chapters in this course. I think all in all it is about 8 hours of video content and a lot more of written content as well. So it's a huge course. The cool thing now is that this course is entirely using JavaScript. If you would have told me this like, I don't know, 10 years ago maybe, I would have said uh, JavaScript isn't that cool. Back then I was using like Swift, getting into iOS development and then made some Java and then Python and whatever. But over the years JavaScript and especially the frameworks on top have developed a lot. And therefore getting started with JavaScript is I think currently in university the language of choice. Maybe it's Python as well but I think in most cases it is JavaScript. And the great part is that previously you uh, had to choose this route. So do I go with Python? Do I go with Ruby? Do I go with Java? 
and then you had the specific career path. Uh, when I got my first job, I actually didn't know a thing about uh, J2EE, which was asked in the uh, initial interview to me. I still wonder why I got the job, but I did my best to build great apps with Swift or Objective-C back then. So I guess they hired me for that part and not the J2EE part. And because I switched my focus back then from um, Objective-C and Swift to Ionic in that case, which was a lucky coincidence because it is now my main business. Because using JavaScript, I was able to get into both backend development and frontend development at the same time. So that's what currently known more or less as JavaScript or full stack development. And that's really a cool thing actually. So in this course that I've built, the first half is about building a fully functional backend using Node.js Express. Um, and then in the front end, Ionic and Angular. So it's more or less the classic mean stack with MongoDB on top as well. So that means you learn one language, which isn't that hard to learn from syntax if you compare it to like Haskell or whatever. And then you get the benefits of deciding, okay, cool, maybe I like backend stuff more so I can build the APIs for my project. Um, or you can also try Ionic or other frameworks. Let's say React Native, um, native script, there are many more using JavaScript. But the thing is that you got the ability to choose which path you want to try out just based on this one skill that you've learned, okay? Of course, for front end you need CSS and then you got HTML and everything, uh, Angular frameworks, but still, that's not like learning a completely new, frame, uh, new language. And therefore, that's the reason why I created this course, to give a little guideline to everyone working on their own little project, side project, startup app that they want to make big because when I built my last project I was in need of all of this and there was no great guide that explained how to include all of these different great services into one project. Your project needs some sort of payment and it needs the membership option, so monthly recurring payments and then you need to catch the webhooks, then you need the API to handle all of this stuff, then you need a cool front end and at some point you need the API and of course your back end also needs functionality. So a lot of things that you need to include and then you got all the services, as I said before, you need to include them in the right positions inside your code and trigger them and use them appropriately in different places of your code. And none of them is really hard, but the combination of everything into one project can be definitely overwhelming and it was for me as well in the past. That's why I created this course, which only uses JavaScript, as I said, first half backend, second half Ionic app, and then on top also the deployment to uh, Firebase, Heroku, uh, the native app stores and some more text around all of this. The link to this course is below the video. It will actually be released next week to my email list, but as some sort of special bonus I wanted to give you uh, this community that I want to bring to 100k at least, maybe even more, already uh, the opportunity to get started. So link to the startup manual is below this video. And that's also what I wanted to tell you about JavaScript and why I think it's awesome. I want to start the debate now about Angular, React and all of these things. That's a different story and I want to be involved in that story actually. But I just want to say my honest appreciation for this language. All right, and that's it for the first episode of Simon Says, or maybe we just need to define the name as well. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, make sure to subscribe to get the latest videos, Tuesday content, and I think Thursday uh, vlog style content. Thanks for your time, really appreciate it. Again, I'm super sorry for the last years, but things will get better now. Have a great week, make something happen and build great stuff with awesome code. And as always, happy coding, Simon.